Dads Unlimited is a registered charity. We support dads who are going through family breakdown. Our services started in Kent, but we quickly realised that the need was greater. And in five years, we are now a national organisation supporting men all across England and Wales. Pre-COVID, we would be seeing approximately 580 calls a month. Post-COVID, that's nearly a thousand. Things around domestic abuse, self-harm, suicide ideation. To tackle family breakdown, it's not just getting counselling or a little bit of legal support, it's the whole thing. And that's why Dads Unlimited has this whole centred family approach. We appoint a mentor to that dad to say, we will be your shepherd through this journey. I'd gone through a marriage breakdown. My mentor invited me along to the meetings. You kind of think you're unique and that, you know, surely other people can't be going through this. And then you walk into a room and then there's 30 other men in the same dilemma. Dad's Cafe was one of the first initiatives that I supported through the Mental Health and Policing Fund. And they would drop in places where dads could come in and talk about uh, their mental health. And they had people on hand who were qualified to point them in the right direction. We have this label attached to us. We're guys, we're fine, dad's there. We are not, we're not invincible. We know men between the ages of 40 and 54 are at real high risk of suicide nationally. Working with our local public health partners, we've realised that there are other high risk suicide triggers. A lot of the factors which drive men to suicide, middle-aged men in particular, are things like relationship breakdown, extreme financial difficulties and reduced access to children. So it's that combination of factors. The National Crime Survey said in the year ending 2020, there were 757,000 male victims of domestic abuse. Of that, 7% were at risk of suicide. Dads Unlimited has an IDVA service, stands for Independent Domestic Violence Advisor. Dads Unlimited brought in a male specialist IDVA to work with their dads to really reduce that risk of domestic abuse, but also reducing the risk of suicide amongst this cohort as well. One of the biggest worries, I would say anyone going through the family law system, is how much is this going to cost? We have introduced fixed fee scheme so that you know what you're going to pay. It is unique because it gives the charity the ability to instruct barristers directly. That they have been so successful in helping those men with their lives means that they are genuinely people alive today and children who have their dads because of Dads Unlimited. The other services we run are a co-parenting service to teach them to co-parent and help them transition from an intimate partnership to a working relationship with their former partners. I separated from my son's mother and I ended up not seeing my son for eight months. The co-parenting workshop taught us ways to de-escalate situations between us. If you get the father to manage the stresses and the pressures, what you will produce at the end is a resilient child. Whether it's the legal challenge that they're facing with their ex-partners, whether it's supporting high quality time with their children, how they can increase their finances and reduce their debts, that all-round approach really makes them innovative. You know, the children are the first thing. They're the ones that actually suffer. I know that I've got my daughters back. I never thought we'd be on this level of co-parenting. Effectively, we're just all one big family.